spoiler alert right let me give you a rundown on my top boy season three thoughts okay let me start with stefan so stefan has you know is dealing with the fact that now james is now dead and like he's now in like you know like one of those dumping ground style houses oh, what are they called when the name comes to me it will come to me and now aaron isn't there so now he's trying to navigate life by himself and he met this girl called erin which was mandy's daughter i forgot who mandy was related to oh yeah driss's baby mama that's who mandy is so now they're doing their thing so then also at the same time stefan gets entangled with um jamie's old you know friends he had this whole elaborate plan to want to kill sully but he at the last second he had the gun pointed at sully's head and you know what he said he was like you're not worth it he killed your brother me i would want revenge like i don't know why he didn't do it Stefan's character growth really needs to be studied. I really like Stefan as a character this season because you can see that he's matured. Like, he's left by himself and it's nice to see him navigate himself, not perfectly, he didn't navigate himself perfectly through all the trauma, but the gr his growth, yeah. Stefan this season, W. So I'm gonna do Jack, Bex and Lauren all in one because their story is one, you know so jack wants to spend more time with lauren because lauren's going through postpartum depression now after you know everything that was happening with curtis giving birth to the baby you know and whatnot and whatnot so now lauren must have wanted to go and get you know the gs from you know a dealer and now jack finds out so now they're trying to you know be together do you know what i'm saying be closer so that you know nothing happens to lauren and whatnot but then lauren gets found dead in a bathtub um with the unnamed child his name was delroy or lauren before she died was like i'm gonna name you jack after your best auntie i'm just gonna say that the child was unnamed so lauren gets found dead and now jack is like shit like drugs is killing our people and you know we need to do something about it so then jack must have takes a shipment from D um deshane and sully and now bex jack and the unborn child are forced to run and then now jack's jack is like oh okay let me give it back and i want to pass <sighs> do you forget who deshane and sully are they are evil masterminds that's what they are they don't play they don't fuck with anybody okay for her to ask for a pass is like girl please you know they're gonna they're gonna do serious damage to you <laughs> you should have known that when you did what you did but yeah it was sad to see lauren go through what she was go going through and then to see jack going through the loss of lauren it was like it was sad i'm gonna do a very short segment on sully because like I don't like Sully. So at the very beginning of the season, Sully must have said to Shane Cash out, we're not doing this together anymore. Sully must have got entangled with some Irish people, must have killed, you know, one one Donald McGee. What's that his name? I didn't like him either. And then, you know, at some point, you know, Deshane now is struggling, but I'm gonna get back onto that later. But the Shane Mustard takes the shipment that Jack was meant to give back to Sully. So now, Sully wants the Shane. So then Shully, Sully shoots the Shane. And the Shane dies. And I'm like, what? Because it's like, oh, I never expected it. These people have been like this. From day one. Like, I never imagined Sully actually doing this to the Shane. Like, I feel betrayed but at the same time Deshane did kind of betray Sully but if Deshane wouldn't have done that if Sully wasn't so greedy and asked Deshane were well, not even asked was like Deshane cash out no but Deshane this season let me also talk about him because Deshane lost a lot of this season I also want to know what's up with his heart because he's been doing for the past two seasons now and we are still yet to know what's wrong with him but that's something for that's something else so first of all 
Shelly and Shane, you know, they were about to start a the salon chain together, a, a chain of 10 salons to, you know, because, you know, Shelly already has a salon. So it was meant to be about two million pounds. Let me just say that it was meant to be about two million pounds. Deshaun was meant to get the money from um, life. That woman, I don't even know what she does. Someone needs to explain that to me. But now, life can't give Deshane the money. So now Deshane's like, what's up? Deshane loses 15 million pounds from that summer house development. And now he's left with nothing. So now he's trying to leave the country and he went to his lawyer. His lawyer was like, okay, it's gonna be 250,000 pounds to, you know, get out the country. Oh yeah, I also missed, he killed Jeffrey. Um, basically, Jeffrey is in an entanglement now because Life and Lizzie must have both run away with money that belonged to Deshane and Jeffrey. And yeah, Deshane was like, find Life and find Lizzie. I want them now. Jeffrey was like, yeah, I don't know where they are. Money is gone. Deshane killed him. Deshane almost got caught. He almost, he almost got caught. But you know, he died in the end. So like, it was really no point. I don't have too much to say on Shelly. Maybe just that I feel bad that, you know, she didn't get her dream salon chain. That's really what I have to say. I do love Shelly though. Oh yeah, Kieran. So Kieran almost gets deported back to Rwanda because the home office are on his ass. What I don't understand is you've been living in a country for 20 years or whatnot, and then the home office is just to come and decide, oh, you have to leave this country because you don't have a legal right to be here. Like, it makes no sense. But yeah, Kieran is like, Jax's ride or die. Like, he even defends Jack to death while he knows about what Jax has done and, you know, has to lie to Deshane and Sully and then Deshane and Sully both kill him. You see what I'm saying? And, 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 and Jack wanted to pass. I think that Sai killed Sully because, you know, originally, Sully thought that it was Sai that took, you know, the food and was doing madness to Sai. Me, personally, I would not have that. So now I think that Sai must have wanted some sort of revenge against Sully, so must have shot him. And, like, that was, that was right after Stefan tried to shoot Sully as well. I don't know why he didn't, like, I'll keep saying that. But yeah, that's really all my thoughts. All the actors, all the producers, all the writers, they, they all killed it. Even, even Kano. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, he, I don't doubt that he's a really good person on the outside. But in that show, hey, I don't like Sully. Season 5, 10 out of 10. Amazing. Peace.